Welcome to Cheryl's Home Cooking. Today what I'm going to show you is one of my favorite recipes, so let's get started. Hi guys, I wanted to show you another update on the plants and trees in my yard. What I did is I weeded back in my backyard here and we put down some red mulch. You can see how much nicer it looks. And then I got rid of the um, timbers because they were kind of all rotted and we placed new timbers down. You can see how much nicer it looks. And then this way here when I do water, especially the trumpet plant, it likes to stay moist. The mulch keeps it nice and moist all around the bottom of the uh, trumpet plant. So we replaced all the timbers all going down the side here. And it keeps the dirt off the house too. Because every time it would rain, the dirt would splash up and get dirt all on the side of the house here. So we trim the hedges all before putting the mulch down. But you can see how nice it looks. Makes a big difference. Also did it here on the um, blueberry bushes as well. I weeded around there and just put the mulch there to keep it nice and moist. And this tree really has a lot of nice big blueberries. Wish it was enough to make blueberry jelly, but I know it's not. And you can see how much bigger the uh, grapes are getting. There's just so many of them. Nice little one starting right there. You can see how this one's starting out. I don't really want to touch it. Well, here's one hidden. That looks good. And over here I weeded around this trumpet plant and put the mulch around here too. Cleaned up back here. Put the new timbers here. And you can hear my next door neighbor he just came home with his motorcycle. These lantanas will really grow and spread out on the bottom too. It's a crepe myrtle. And I also did it to this crepe myrtle. You can see it's getting nice and filled in. The loquat. Cleaned up around there as well and this little one. And I also did this tree. I keep forgetting the name of this tree, but the last time I showed you guys this tree, there was very little leaves on it, and look at it now. It's only been about a week. So they're nice, pretty leaves. I know it's a flowering tree, but I just forgot the name of it. I'm trying to focus in on this dragonfly. It's right at the very end, right there. I got a little glare, so I can't tell if it's focused or not. Still didn't fly away. And the bamboo's growing in good. Put it all alongside the uh, yard here. With all this mulch that you see just in the backyard here, I used about 15 bags of the three cubic feet, and then I bought 20 bags at Home Depot, and it was only the two cubic feet. So that's quite a bit of mulch right here, and I still didn't finish the rest right here, so I gotta go get some more timbers and more mulch. And then I'll try working on the front. You really have to replace this mulch every year. I haven't done it in I don't know how long. So, so far, you know, it looks much better. I need to put mulch in here. 
I could also use some mulch in here. This sago palm is really growing good. It was actually just one stick. Just like that one. And it blossomed into that. Looks good. I filled the bird feeder. It's for a hummingbird. It's just sugar and water. And you can see everything's coming along great along the fence line here. I edged and mulched on this side of the um, driveway. Looks better. Looks clean. At least this mulch, like I said, will keep everything nice and moist. Won't dry out so quickly. And we also put in some new timbers and some mulch along this side of the uh, house as well. It does look so much better. And I did this one. This is the key lime tree. You can see all the little ones growing. So it looks better with the mulch. This one really has a ton of fruit that's going to be growing. This is the tangerine tree. I mean, look at them all. There's a lot. Well, that's about it as far as what I did with the mulch and timbers for the backyard. I didn't touch the front yard yet. I still need more mulch and some more timbers for the backyard before I even start the front. So thanks so much for tuning in to another episode of Cheryl's Home Cooking. And I wanted to show you the update on the timbers and the mulch that I placed down in my backyard. I'll see you guys next video. Bye-bye. Well, thanks so much for tuning in to another episode of Cheryl's Home Cooking. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next video. Bye-bye.